In this video, I'm going to show you how to seal threads for your air hose fittings. Not just one, but three different ways of sealing the threads. I'll show you the proper techniques and maybe we'll come across one that's not so good versus one that's better than the rest. With all of these, you're going to need the same basic tools. It's just the material that you're sealing the threads with that's different. You'll need a wrench or a similar tool that will hold on to the tool that you're attaching the connector to. And you're going to need a tool to tighten the connector itself. I'm using all new connectors in this video, but if you're reusing an old connector, you're definitely going to need to clean those old threads out. First off, no matter what you're using, you're going to want to make sure that your tool and connector are compatible, like they're the same size. So starting with the liquid thread sealant, you apply the sealant to the connector itself and inside the tool. Thread them together, this is pretty easy, especially since the thread sealant kind of acts as a lubricant, but you don't want to overdo it. You can damage the tool or the connector if you do. The downside to this thread sealant is you do have to wait a while for the thread sealant to cure, and if you use it too soon, then the air can push the thread sealant out. I actually did use this too soon, and even though because I used it too soon, the air was able to escape and made a pathway out, I let it sit even longer, and somehow it managed to seal up even with that air escape from before. I imagine because of that, this particular seal isn't going to have the longest lifespan, but if I had done it properly and waited the full curing time, then I'm sure I would have had a really long service life with it. Now we're going to do the thread tape. It's very similar, except with the tape, since it's wrapped around, you need to take note that the motion is going to be either with or against you tightening the threads. If you're looking down at the threads like this, you want to wrap the tape around in a clockwise manner like this. Now you can see as we go to tighten it, it's actually helping wrap the tape on even harder instead of trying to unwrap it. Now I wrap this tape around about three times and you may need to wrap it around a little more if you're using threads that are a little worn out or the tool or the connector threads are machined with more of a gap. If you put this thread seal tape on a tool and you test it out and there's a little bit of leak, you take the connector off, remove all the tape and start fresh. This microphone is turned all the way up. It's pointed directly at where the leak would be, and I can't hear anything. Maybe when I load this up in the video editor, I'll be able to hear any kind of leak, but right now it seems like there's no leak. I was surprised with just how much of a leak this one had, so I think something else is going on here, and don't necessarily dismiss this red sealant that's dry already on the threads. Either way, it is my least favorite of the three, but even with that ranking, I don't think it's actually as bad as that air sound made it seem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Car Simplified video.